In the navy, you will sail the undersea. Welcome to Sunless Sea. Okay, here we are again, back where we started. We are still in Port Cecil. We're in a little bit of dire straits, but not doing too badly. And we're still looking for Mount Palmerston. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the port now. We're going to head east a little bit further. And when our fuel gets down to about four or five, we are going to turn and head southwest and make a dash back for London. So here we go. nasty feeling that we've just missed it somewhere but let's see how we're going we only have four zailers left which is a number that's really starting to worry me but let's see how we do okay one thing I want to try is not going to happen just now okay what do we want that will cost us fuel but the cry goes up drownies in the water the pale faces of the drowned dead bop up like lamps. They're singing. So we can drown out their song with the roar of the engines. That will cost us fuel. Or we can ignore it as best we can. I don't have the fuel to spare. Let's ignore it as best we can. So we've lost a crew member. I was worried about that. The song of the drownies wearies your arm and it dismays your mind. Draw in a breath and you can smell the muck of the sea floor. Someone's gone overboard. Sleek heads gather around the flailing shape, and then all of them are gone. If we get down to two crew, I'm just turning back and going to London as fast as we can. Anyway, something I've wanted to try out is this the bat skirt search. Let's see what happens there. You, there are no undiscovered islands within the Z-Bats range. Well, that was a waste. Okay. A little bit further. Just a little bit more. And then we're turning back for London. Because we are not in a good way. And it looks like this little chain of islands has run out. Let's have a quick look at the map while we're here. So, where could things be? They could be north of us, they could be south of us. I don't think they're likely to be... Well, I suppose they could be east of us. Let's head over that boundary and have a look. Why not? Okay, here we go. Oh, the music is getting really dramatic here, isn't it? Ah, here we go, some more islands. The water is sluggish with hypal threads. Violet vegetable bulks break the surface. My Selagia. You've discovered the utter, utter shroom. Ooh, what's this? I don't think it's what we were looking for, but does that look like a port in the middle? on earth is this? Let's just have a quick look at the map. Yes, it does show a port there. Can we travel across this? We can travel under this. Ooh. Okay. The Utter Shroom. Climb the fungal fiber ladders to its summit. Shaggy, suspicious villagers scratch a living here amidst endless clouds of spores and scurrying mobs of plant-animal hybrids. None of them ever leave. Monsters, one explains darkly. Z, full of monsters. So we can visit the village. We can trade honey. Well, we could if we had honey. And we can gather intelligence. Right, we can't do that because we don't have a port for port, the Utter Shroom. So, first thing to do, let's visit the village. Okay, hospitable? Not exactly, but they don't chase you off with sticks, and they usually let you sit behind their mildew-smelling fire. 
the central contradiction of a shroomer existence. They hate the utter shroom, but they do anything to avoid leaving. Monsters! Today they are telling us the story of how they came here. It features a ship shipwreck, a rain of orange jewels, the mother's blessing, there's a great deal of adversity and survival, and wistful hints about their homeland, somewhere to the west. So we've gained a memory of distant shores. That's interesting. I don't think we've had one of those before. So, that's all for now. We can gather some intelligence. Let's do that. Okay. The villagers leave a shabby but sufficient life. The utter shroom provides. They are secretive, taciturn, incurious. Ships rarely visit. So we gained another report report. That's excellent. Okay. The only thing we can do less, uh, extra is locked. So... Let's have a quick look at the shops. No shops. Have a look at the shipyard. No shipyard. I think, guys, it is time to go back to London while we still can. So, let's launch. And let's start heading in a southwesterly direction. And it just gives us a chance to explore a bit more. Perhaps find something new on the way back. But we have to be really careful now about losing crew and gaining terror. Well, we've gained all the terror we're going to get. And surprisingly, nothing really nasty has happened so far. But I'm willing to bet it gives the chance of really nasty ha things happening. Uh, there we go. We've lost a crew member. We have got to get out of here. We have got to get out of here. Okay, we have two crew waiting for us in port, but it looks like we're going to be spending a fortune getting more crew members. Mm. Oh, this music is really starting to stress me out. Let's have a quick look at the map, see where we are. Uh, we need to go a lot more southwest than we're doing, so let's do that now. There we go. And let's burn a, a belch of smoke goes up from the funnel. Hmm. Let's let's burn a bit of fuel. We don't have much to spare, but we have some. Let's get out of this dangerous area as quickly as we can. We've discovered the noetic lobe. And we're back in the principles of coral, which is slightly less scary. Noctic, not noetic, noctic. The letters and the order they're in is very important when reading a word. Okay, that's got us out of the mushroom, so let's slow down a little bit. Let's conserve some fuel. Oh, we cannot go at maximum speed anymore. Interesting. Oh, possibly because we don't have enough crew? I don't know. We've discovered aphotic quills. Let's have a quick look at the map and see if we've gone south enough. We could still do with going a bit more south, so let's do that. Oh, a lighthouse, that's reassuring. Let's go and visit that lighthouse on the way through. Mm. Yes, we have definitely overreached ourselves this time, haven't we? is it? We've discovered Patrick's lot. More islands. Good. These ones look like they're made out of mashed potato. Can we dock here? We cannot dock here. But we can use this as an excuse to start heading west. Which is what we're going to do. The waves are flecked with light. Oh, a pirate. I think we'll... Mm, we don't have any choice. We can't accelerate away from him. But it looks like the AI is a touch broken there. Um, we're going to have to do this fight, I'm afraid. A pirate frigate. This is a bigger one. Ooh. 
Let's go. Okay, so they have 75 hit points. We have 32. We have crew of 2. They have a crew of 15. This is not looking too well for us, to be honest with you. And we can't really use any of the uh, um, bonuses, that uh, any of the attacks that do require fuel. Um, hmm. Emergency repairs. We, uh, we might chuck one of those in. Let's see how we go. Um, two of those, one of those. Let's see what we're doing. Um, they started off with a wild salvo. Interesting. Minimally effective attack randomly increases your enemy's illumination, sometimes decreasing it. Always increases your illumination. Odd choice. It looks like they're going to be doing lots of those until they're... Yeah, here we go. All right, let's chuck an evade in, and then let's start shooting at them. Don't like our odds here, to be honest with you. I don't think we're in a very good condition here. But let's chuck some shots at them. As soon as that gets up to a hundred, we are—they are really going to start hurting us. Oh, let's actually let's get an evade in there. Okay, there you see. Our only hope is, will that stop them from doing it? It didn't stop them from doing it, and ladies and gentlemen, we've just lost. Shipwrecked. Your sh ship founders, there are screams, a flood of dark water, the unforgettable sound of a ship's spine breaking. Slip beneath the waves, slip beneath the waves, oh dear. We should have, if only we'd had a will. Okay, we slip beneath the waves. Perhaps you'll be remembered in song. Go. No more sleep. Choose a legacy to preserve something for your next captain. Your quality of lodgings quality has gone. Okay, let's see. Okay, what do we do? We preserve a skill. We preserve an officer. We preserve your chart. Oh dear. Our chart is not very advanced. I don't think we're going to gain anything from storing it. Um, our officers are fairly basic. Again, I'm not particularly comfortable in storing those. So, let's preserve a skill. Are you sure you want to take the skill? Yes. Uh, which one shall we have? I think the thing we put the most work into is mirrors so let's grab that one and let's start again we'll build our character uh, our, our character up and we'll do a quick run I think this is going to be slightly uh, longer than a 20 minute episode but never mind choose a past a past wreathed in shadows let's choose a past Okay, we're back to a room above the Blind Houseman, but to be honest with you, we never left. Okay, we can be a street urchin. Your urchin gang cast you out when you grew too tall. You took to the sea rather than graduate to larger crimes. Your last big score was enough to buy a ship. That gives us a bonus to Vels. Last time we were a poet. I think we were a poet. Yes, we were a poet. An educated and articulate soul seeking sensation at sea. How lucky you! Are. How lucky you had a legacy to spend. And that gives us a bonus to pages. Not necessarily a bad thing, to be honest with you. Um, a veteran of the campaign of '68, you fought in the invasion of hell. London's armies lost. You survived. Your loot and your pension has bought you a command. This gives us a bonus to iron. An ordained priest, you fell from grace. There is nothing left ashore for you. An anonymous benefactor has found a way for you. you. This will give you a bonus to hearts, the skill of healing and morale, or we can be a natural philosopher. Your peculiar theories on time, blood and starlight brought you down to the neath, the cavern where London lies, and now they take you out to Z, which will give us a bonus to mirrors. Do you know what, guys? I like that one. Let's have two bonuses to mirrors. And that will help us an awful lot in combat. So there we go. 
you see that's given us a bonus now of 53 which is fantastic so we have 25 mirrors it's for a total of 53 we have one plausible surgeon a crew member we've gained 20 echo we you were a natural philosopher and now you're a z captain your a stranger quality is gone welcome to the world so here we are back again and what does winning mean to you so we can gather a hundred towels learn all we can of the z write a masterpiece retire we can acquire wealth we can find where our father died and return his remnants to London for a decent burial. Well, that's not available. That one's not available. That one's not available. Okay. Just these two. We did wealth last time. Let's do fulfillment. Okay, so now I've become... Uh, our ambition quality has become London's most venerated explorer. Okay, so we need to gather a hundred tales and write a masterpiece and then retire. Okay. Right, how are we just um, uh, addressed? We just just go for captain here. The rest of them are a bit silly. Okay. Um, who were we last time? We were that guy last time, if I remember. Let's let's have a, a different profile. Um, oh yes. I wonder how many characters we can have in here. That many at least. Meet ladies and gentlemen. Meet Humperdinck von Snodgrass. And here we are again. Mac in fallen London. With a new crew. A new ship. And I should imagine. We've lost just about everything we had up to this point. But never mind. We shall build again. We shall start once more. We shall attain slightly higher heights than we did before. And we know not to go all the way out to the mushrooms right at the start because that's a really bad idea. But let's start off with the obvious things. Let's have a quick chat with this guy. Speak to. He will give us pages. Now that's interesting because pages would be very useful. Will we choose it? Okay, so. Oh, ho, ho. we like to talk about secrets, would we? Secrets are my very favourite. All right. Gosh, he looks like a, ooh, a really trustworthy-looking chap, doesn't he? Perhaps not. Have a look in our our uh, our lodgings. Let's read the paper to gain a um, recent news. The Echo Bazaar, that enigmatic marketplace, has increased its tax on love stories. The traitor empress is forbidden singing in the street outside her palace. The anarchists of the calendar council have inexplicably dynamited a drinking fountain. Nothing new there. Okay. Um, rest, we don't need to. Purchase an energy... Uh, okay. Same as before, we can't do any of that. Um, so let's go back to the rest of the city. Uh, let's cop into London. We can't do that... We need a secret to get into the university, so we need to remember to keep one for that. Uh, we have enough crew, and I don't want to spend the money. We can put into the dry dock, we don't need to do that. We will purchase the tomb colonists. That's always a good start, so what we'll do is we shall do the usual thing. We will pick up, or spend that money on casks of mushroom wine. And before we do anything else, let's just pop up to Vendermite. Very boring, I know, but it has to be done, really, doesn't it? Let's get that basic exploration done. Pop up to Vendermite. Get our first trade out the way. And next time, we shall go exploring somewhere else. Because that was way, way, way too tough for us. We've discovered Bad Stevener's Abyss. Let's pick up another place. 
we discovered Hunter's Keep. We'll pop back in there on the way back. Mm. Discovered Low Barnet. This is the nice thing about starting with a new map. We're picking up all these fragments really quickly, which is going to get us that uh, secret needed to get us into the university. And because we're in this friendly area, we're not gaining much terror at the moment. That's one thing that I need to learn how to do is manage terror. Oh, here comes our first pirate. Okay. Let's fight. Okay, let's chuck some illumination up and then shoot it. Let's not mess around here. The thing here is he wants to get us up to a hundred. And I think actually we don't need that one. We'll do that, we'll do an evade, and then we'll do some more shots. Yeah, this is more our strength, isn't it? We didn't really need to do that evade by the looks of it, but it won't hurt. Yes, here we go. Done. Okay, we will send that back with a prize crew. There we go. We were fortunate. Okay, so we shall have some money for us when we get back into London. Off back to Vendabite. And the terror is starting because we're not illuminated. We're now illuminated. The terror goes down. We go out the illumination and it goes back up again. A white Z bat. Go on deck, even in port. There's a, a white Z bat watching me up there. Salt, Salt's messenger. Salt's got his eyes on me. I shall never see home again. Salt? Zayla's superstition. Order him up on deck at once. Salt, one of the nameless gods that the Zaylas fear. He's a conscientious man. Send him to the sick bay on the pretext of a feeder, fever. Feed, feed the Z bat. If white Z-Bats are sacred to Salt, perhaps you'll win Salt's favour, if you believe any of this. Or shoot the z bats The dot 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 thing is frightening your dot 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 crew. Your dot 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 settle its hash. This is a low-risk challenge. We've got a good chance of doing that one, but I actually like the idea of trying to win Salt's attention. So let's give that one a go. The Z-Bat takes fungal crackers from your fingers as boldly as apparent. It dips its head to you and chirrups something that you might mistake for speech. It spreads its wings and leaps into the air. The next day, your crewman is gone, along with one of your ship's boats. No one saw him depart, or knows why. Okay, so we've lost a crewman. Coward. We've gained five fragments. We've gained Salt's attention, and that's what I was interested in. And we now have one of Stone, Stone, Storm, and Salt, which I'm presuming are the three gods. So let's move on. Yes, if you're within the light of these lighthouses, you don't gain terror. So that's uh, a useful thing to know. And actually, let's stop here and let's trade in that news and see what we can get for it. Are we going to do it before those bats arrive? Yes, we are. The lightship. They long for news of home. So let's give them some stories. Okay, we've lost two. Terra. Okay, not bad. Nothing of any sort there. Okay, so let's just head on. Uh, it's going too fast. Uh, let's give a chance for those bats to catch up with us. Come on. There we go. Right. Okay. Let's see how we do here. We aren't going to need that, are we? Mm, the mirror's score is so much better now. Yes. This is not a competition in any way anymore. And they're dead. Okay. Um... Let's put them in the pot. There you go. I can see we're going to end up with another crew that are going to get utterly, utterly sick of eating bat. Hornman's Stag. Now there's a name with not only a double meaning, but a triple and a quadruple meaning, really, isn't it? Carissa's Point. 
Carissa's Point and Hornman's Stag. Okay, there's a story there, isn't there? And here we are, back in Vendor Bites. The town where everybody knows your name. Fed the crew. And here comes next meal. Come on, let's have another meal. Come on. Oh, you're not bats, you're chickens. Come on, fight me, fight me. Fight me! Okay, be like that. Uh, make your minds up, good lord! Okay, we'll just turn the engines off for a second to increase our turning radius. Tick, 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 tick. It occurs to me that I should have turned the lights off when I was getting a little bit worried. I should imagine the lights in cheat. Um, reduce our veil score okay we're back in the tomb colony of Vendabite. we can explore we can visit the first curator we can gather gossip so let's gather gossip this is the same thing as we were looking at several times so we'll just continue with that we can explore Vendabite. let's do that okay we've gained terror we gain 20 fragments. Remnants. In a wide space behind the hollow temple, you happen across a stepped platform of sorts. Four statues guard it, marked with glyphs, all but lost to time and idle vandalism. They look a little like the glyphs that deco decorate Echo Bazaar in London, though. At the heart of the platform is a long, filled well shaft, too. You poke about briefly, but something in the place makes you uneasy. A frost moth, the size of a farmer's hand, flutters, flutters down to a perch on the whale's edge. Another. A third. You retreat. Hmm. I do like Vendabite. Okay, let's visit the first curator. Z Captains, the first curator gives audience. The first curator is responsible for the preservation of the tomb colonies. It has been here much longer than London, like all of the oldest tomb colonists, but even the tomb colonists dissolve in the end. Its time is close. Okay, so we can listen to a whispered request, we can ask about the Grand Sanatorium, we can accept the commission, and we can depart for now. Let's listen to a whispered request. No more light, the obsequious steward cautions you. The curator is terribly afraid of moths. He opens the door, and you step into near darkness. A pair of luminous lamplighter bees buzz in a latticed ivory tube. There is no other source of light. A banded shape no larger than a child lies crumpled on a couch. It lifts its head with obvious effort. It takes several seconds for you to distinguish its voice from the soft buzz of the bees. Sea Captain. Silkskin. Not much left of me. I will go into the Grand Sanatorium. Bring me colours. Seven colours. Pay well. Seven colours? Cosmogone, Irigo, Pelagin. Stuart has list. Find them here across the wide black Z. Okay, so let's accept that request. It collapses, rustling back onto the couch. Even the effort of speaking seems a little seems to have diminished it a little. The audience is over. As the door opens, it shrieks from the finger of light that reaches across the floor. Outside, the obsequious steward nods. The book. Yes, the book. He hands you a slim, illustrated volume. The curator is old, old as dust. We will be grateful if you redo it this one last favour. Okay, so we're basically looking for these, these items across the neath. Um, I've never found one, but um, it'll be interesting to find it. Okay, so P drowns in Pelagon, the colour of the deeper Z. Someone has scrawled in the margin. Found beyond the gate there is a sea more sunless. Ooh. I is for Irigo. No one remembers why. Irigo colours the forgotten corners of home. Perhaps we find that one in London. 
you uh, beyond the, your mirror, V becomes Virik, the color of the shallow sleep. V marks violent when blood is shed in a spired place. Violent ink is employed for the most desperate treaties. A awakes Apician, the blue of memory and blightest coral. Okay, we've gained one book of the Neath Bow. A book for children. One page is devoted to each of the colours of the Neath, which are not found on the surface. Hmm. Okay, we've gained G is lost in Gant, which remains when all colours are eaten. Gant be fa can be found where shadows are myriad. And we also have one without a tooltip. One of this, a page from the Neath Bow Cosmogon, possibly because it's trying to show the uh, tooltip below the fold there. Never mind. Well, that was interesting. I should enjoy doing that. Okay, shops. Okay, we have no money, so let's just sell off what we can here. So let's sell these guys. There we go. We gained a little bit of money from that. Uh, Arcade of size. Did we pick up any mushroom wine? Yes, we did. There we go. That's given us a little bit of a bonus. That's a good start, really, isn't it? There's not much else we can do here. We have the secret, which we can use to unlock the uh, university. Um, tempted to use it for pages, but I won't. And we started a few stories again. Okay, guys, this has gone well over 20 minutes, so I'm going to leave it there. Next episode, we'll pick this up and we'll start the story again. Perhaps we'll explore a little bit to the south this time. Uh, thank you very much. I've been Simon Parsons, and this has been Sunless Sea. Good night.